So in terms of where um, the sermon uh, sets in the worship service for me, I, there's kind of the way I'm doing it now and the way I'm headed uh, towards, which is actually reclaiming of something I had been did years ago. Uh, you know, standard uh, mainline Protestant Christian worship is about, you know, really the sermon is the center of the worship service and it takes place over 15 to 20 you know, minutes or so. Um, and when people leave worship, they say you know, to the minister, oh, that was a great sermon, or maybe they're thinking it was horrible, but you know, whatever it is, their evaluation of their experience of worship is very much centered around uh, their perception of the quality of the sermon. And um, I find it's, it's, we're on much bet, a firmer ground when we decenter that a, a, a bit. Um, and instead of making um, worship um, message-based, where that is primarily delivered through the sermon, is to think, start thinking about worship being experience-based. And it's not that we can create anybody's experience uh, for them or manipulate them into some sort of you know, experience, uh, but we can uh, pull back and say, well, as Christians, we do believe that the spirit of the living God is fully present with us. And hopefully as Christians, we also um, will affirm that whenever we open even a crack uh, you know, to the armor that we've put up against spirit. <laughs> the spirit does not hesitate to jump down and mess with us. <laughs> and so, um, you know, instead of simply thinking about intellectual persuasion, for instance, you know, how do we then uh, work with a variety of ways of knowing and opening? You know, it's not just being through being persuaded that I open my spirit. Sometimes it's just through hearing something beautiful or seeing something, you know, amazing that I, that's invitational. So uh, to me, preaching at its best, um, as a preacher, I see my role more as an interpretive guide um, than a lecturer. Uh, or, um, and, and ultimately, what, what my favorite way to preach is actually where the preaching is broken up. And so I may preach for you know, 20 minutes over the course of worship, but that preaching is actually broken up into, into smaller segments. And, and oftentimes, we'll be either reacting to something that's just happened to us uh, or providing some sort of intellectual bridge between um, experiential uh, moments, that kind of thing. And so people have a chance to hear something that there's some intellectual freight that they may not have direct access to on their own, but then to actually let that be absorbed and, and, and kind of start messing with it um, in, as they're experiencing a, a, a new element of worship. And then to pick that up again and say, now, okay, now let's take this just a little further here, or let's just reflect on what happened, or why don't we take the next uh, th you know, three minutes, and as music plays, just simply consider this question you know, as it goes. And then after that three minutes, you're, you're up there again, and you're, you're taking it to a new place. So people have, the, there's a restful feeling, there's a sense of, of, of peacefulness, openness, invitation, and a chance to really let uh, the spirit do its work without you just simply talking at them.